Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I goofed up yesterday. Uh, the video is not out, is not uploading even yet because it's still exporting. Because I did not sleep very well and hit snooze or set multiple alarms and didn't get up until quarter of five. And I changed the export for higher quality to a double pass, and it's taking longer than I expected. But anyway, um, yeah, good good morning, everybody. I accidentally deleted the opening clip yesterday when I set the camera up. So I don't even know if, I don't think I even deleted the camera today. Whatever. Whatever. Well, maybe I did it last night. I don't even, I don't even know where I'm at anymore, what I did. And I hope, I mean, I feel okay. But I accidentally took my Mucinex instead of my DayQuil last night when I got up coughing. So, I had it at 8, and I had, I think, at quarter 2. She shouldn't have had it again until 8 a.m. Oops. Hopefully that doesn't become a problem. But, nonetheless, it is currently 18 degrees, negative 8 degrees Celsius. It is freaking cold. There is no wind, though, that I could tell when I was uh, walking out to the car. Because Mateo went out there and he stood on the patio for a minute and I walked I walk away from the door so he doesn't like try to run back. And I was kind of hiding at the kitchen sink and he like looks at the door and he goes, fine, I'll go potty. <laughs> so, a uh, bear. I'm not sure what's up with this weather right now. This is just, this is not normal November. This is like February temperatures. I mean, our high today is supposed to be 33 degrees, 1 degree Celsius. Uh, yeah, that's, that's brisk. But if there's no wind, I might take the dogs to the river walk. I'm a crazy guy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Like I said, did not sleep well at all last night. Um, the hell time did I wake up? I don't know, I was up for hours. Like, I literally had, I think, 40 minutes until my initial alarm was going to go off, and I was still awake. That's not good. So. It was clear overnight. I'm trying to figure out... I tried the window with the loom laps and the, the phone. It's too much light. Too much light facing uh, the other direction. I'd really love to get that as a starry photo picture, but... Unfortunately, that's a no-go. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of lost of another direction that I can shoot these photos in so I can get, get more uh, use out of that loom lapse. Um, but so far, I haven't figured that out. Well, I don't know. It'll be a, a mental teaser for a little bit. Where the hell did I think about... There was some place I thought about, and it's like, I still would have to camp out in the car. But Mike was telling me he has a 50,000 milliamp battery pack, and he got online to look at it, and it was Black Friday discount. I might have mentioned it the other day, so I did pick one of them up. Shouldn't have, but I did. Got gloves coming Tuesday, tomorrow. And so far, I think the, uh, because I, I went through Kohl's and everything, I'm pretty sure the, it, it's, when I get on Amazon for the filter, it, does, it says my refund isn't issued yet, but one of the things said it was. Confusing. I don't know. So, I'm not sure what today's going to bring. Yesterday, yesterday, I guess they had 19 ballots, just two people. Mm -hmm. When I got there, I was told they just got done with free. Fantastic. But we do have the manager back today, so that will be helpful to have three of us. And we do have a nine o'clock cashier. So, yay, we have people. <laughs> and I filled meat last night because we were so slow. So, my associate this morning won't have to deal with carts, he'll just have to deal with the pallet. And yeah. But we were we're almost out of whole milk in the one gallon container in the one gallon jugs. So I have a bad feeling we're gonna get a lot of juice and a lot of milk today. All right.
right, I didn't disconnect it. However, my face thing isn't working. All right, well, so much for going home. Um, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, about a half hour before I was ready to leave. And you want more hours? I'm like, um, why? So the other store in Montoursville had a call off. So I am going, I have two hours, no, hour and 45 minutes to kill. I might still do the river walk by myself since it is a gorgeous day just to do something. But McDonald's first, get some food, and then uh, head down there. Three o'clock until 8.30. And of course, you know, Terry's sleeping, so unless she wakes up to go potty and checks her phone, she's not gonna know what the hell's going on. And I'm probably gonna get yelled at for it. But we need the money. Five hours is five hours. Oh, alrighty. Well, double quarter pounder deluxe definitely filling for me anymore wow i got halfway through and i'm like oh my then i hit a huge pocket of salt not a huge salt fan i don't use a lot of salt so. 136 all right i got like an hour and 24 minutes i eh, should be able to take a short little walk oh go see the dam and Enjoy the fresh air for a little bit. May help my sinuses. I don't know if I'm near my cold medicine time or not yet. Went to break at 10, 30. 11, 30, 12, 30. No, 2.30. Yeah, I kind of had to think about it for a minute, but it's like just the dollar signs in my head. I'm sitting there going, well, five more hours. Remember, I'm already getting paid for six days this week, so you might as well say I'm getting paid for seven now. <laughs> Uh, even though th th that one day was a short day too, this kind of adds on top of that, so it works out. Just try to need to need to try to get caught up. Can't get caught up if you don't have it in the bank. So, oh boy, I am literally the only one here braving this weather. It is a little windier than I thought, and once we get up on the pathway, I'm sure it's going to be even more so. But it is two degrees warmer than what it said it was going to be today. It's 35, so. This jacket and the zipper, I don't know what I'm going to do to... What happens is it's getting... The, the right side gets caught on the lining. And I... For some reason, it gets caught in the same spot every time. I don't know what the hell their problem is, but... Someday I'll figure it out, maybe. Uh, why did I say yes to this? I'm already dead. I only slept a good maybe two hours and 40 minutes. Two hours to start with because I fell asleep to, uh, I don't think I slept that long because I think his video is still going. I think it was um, Gray Still Plays. <sighs> Gotta do it for the family. Oh, wow. Last time we were here, you could, you could just uh, skip right across there. Not anymore. Uh, I think I gotta be out of here by 2.30. It's 147, so I got about 45 minutes, roughly. Well, we definitely aren't gonna have reflections today because of the wind. It's very wakey out there today. So I might just go to the tree line, turn around, maybe we'll just do the back spot here then. Just kind of, just trying to kill time and maybe the fresh air will wake me up. Hey, I wonder what kind of pace I can walk a mile without the dogs. <clears throat> We've... It ranges. Usually 28 minutes is fast mile with the dogs. 32 and higher is more normal. <laughs> I don't plan on stopping and sniffing everything, though. <laughs> that'll, that'll speed things up right there. But no gloves. That wind is brisk. And no hand warmers. <sighs> Well, don't have the dogs, so it's easier to get down here without them. Make a little bit of use of this freedom. These steps are a little too big. Can basically just step down on one. That's it. I'm not even sure what this would have been for. There used to be railing here, but that's gone. Uh, uh been down here before it's been a long time in the vlogs ago and I did bring the dogs down 
Bet you that water's crisp. Oh. A little bit of ice on the ground. Ooh, it's ice and it's ice and frozen and then mud. Oh, that sucks. There's a good place to walk. Oh, there's some rocks here. That's better. I want to see if I can't get out on that. There's like a little platform down here. I think I can get out on it somehow. Yeah, this is this is where it got a little treacherous with the dogs because of the rocks and stuff, keeping my balance. Yeah, okay, over here you can get out there. Uh, I don't even see birds out here today. They're all like, forget that, man. Uh, yeah, this would have been part of the old dam. I'm not sure why they left that piece there and made this channel. Maybe it was for the animals, for the birds and stuff. <clears throat> a lot of times you'll see that thing lined in the summertime with birds if it's not underwater. All right. Yeah, so this used to be the original dam. Well, that's kind of crazy to look out and just see it just end. It's pretty deep right now too. Try not to trip on the weeds and fall in. That would suck. <clears throat> Ooh, this would be an interesting area to try to camp for uh, some uh, moon lap shots. Even night sky. Too bad I don't have the big camera with me in the solar filter. I could dig, get pictures of the sun right now. Well, that's something I could have done today. If I wouldn't have been stupid and said, yes, I'll work. <laughs> oh, the air is out of my face now. That's much better. Yeah, no reflection. No mountain reflection today. All right. We'll make our way down a little bit. It's 2 o'clock now. So... I'm not like trying to break any records. I don't want to wear myself out either. I'm just trying to bide some time. I don't want to get there super freaking early and sit around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but going the other way, the wind was right in my face that whole time. That was, uh, and the sun too. Sun in my eyes and wind in my face. So now everything's at my back. Much better. Much, much, much better. I can actually feel myself picking up my pace now, too. <laughs> All right, that answers that question. Six minutes faster now. Granted, like I said, I am not trying to go super fast or anything. I also have to keep in consideration I'll be going back into the wind and the sun to get back to the car. Because going this way has not been a problem at all. So, we're over a mile already. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I really don't, but whatever. Exercise is good for you, right? Not getting an adventure until Sunday, next Saturday. I know day of the week it is anymore. I, I'm so confused. It's Sunday today. And I am lost. Good afternoon, Mr. Logger Dude. I'll see you on the way back. I'm not sure how far I've walked, but from the end of the dam to now, it's been about six minutes. So I'm going to keep going a little bit because it's only about 13 after. And it's not going to take me 15 minutes to get back to the car, so that just gives me time to get with the store manager, get keys, get clocked in, and all the all the fun stuff. But he's already, I guess, lent me to the store in the computer system, so I should be able to clock in using my credentials. It's crazy. Walmart was a nightmare when it came to going to another store. And you could punch in, but uh, using computers and stuff... Yeah, not so much. All right, so I've elected at the end of this railing here will be the end of the walk, but we're going to be two hundredths of a mile short on one and a half. Uh, maybe we'll go to the pole. <laughs> I'll go to the trash can. That should do it. Oh, there it is. Okay, one and a half, so it should be a half mile back. 
and now the wind and the sun is back in my face. Woo, that's refreshing. Holy buckets. Didn't feel that bad on the way out, but I already feel myself slowing down a little bit. <laughs> I'm about 12 minutes from the end of the dam to here. So I should be back to the car right about the time I wanted to be, 2.30. Oh. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday now that I know what day of the week it is. And uh, doing some fun things, hanging with friends and family. Uh, if you're working, I know that feeling. And uh, yeah, just, you know, be smart and don't do anything that's going to get you. Not here anymore. <laughs> Ooh, when you compress that air underneath the bridge, oh, that gets, that gets really wicked. I'm not going to be able to feel my face when I get back. I, it's Now it's saying it's 32 and zero out. It doesn't feel that cold, but the sun is beating on this jacket and it's literally heating the pockets up. <coughs> the only issue this jacket has is the darn zipper. I don't even have it need it. I am not cold at all, with the exception of maybe my face a little bit. My cheeks. My nose isn't even cold. Oh, I think we're doing pretty good though, considering we're going into the wind now. Oh, beautiful day though. Very beautiful day. Oh, I don't think Mateo would have enjoyed this. This is what my plan was actually. I, I had asked him to do something today, and I don't remember what the hell it was now, but I let him know I was working. So, oh. and another, another day. That's what it was, Dry Run Falls for, uh, do take some pictures of the falls, but that's all right. He never really did answer me whether he wanted to go or not. He probably would have, but that's okay. We'll get there another time, maybe when it's not zero out Celsius and 32 degrees. Oh, because up there it would have probably been minus. I'm going to say between two and three. Yeah. Your higher elevation out in the woods. Yeah. Probably been icy. I could have fallen. All right. Good choice not to do it today. Now we overdid two miles. And somehow the, po the pocket turned itself on in my, in my pocket. That's not good. At least it has a gimbal thing. Because I know it's just being held by that. It won't. Hopefully it doesn't hurt it. Although it shook its head when it came out of my pocket. It's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like, hey man, don't mess with me. All right, we're gonna be pretty damn close to being right on 2.30 too, getting back to the car. I did get the zipper to come all the way up. I think the trick is to pull out as I'm coming up and it keeps the leather liner from catching the zipper. I'll have to play around with it because that's the second time I got to go all the way up, but man, I am, I am digging this jacket. I don't remember what the hell I paid for it. I want to say like $39 maybe. Just wanted, my Columbia's got a rip in it, and it's a little small. I think this is an extra large. Of course, then I lost all that weight, because my belly was the problem. And the belly has gone down, but it is, the holiday season kind of pushed it back up a little bit. But we're out of leftovers already for Thanksgiving dinner. Everything else went to uh, future to turkey noodle soup, which we're thinking about making next week. She's thinking about making it next week because we're going to do the Knobles through the Grove uh, with the dogs next week, Wednesday or Thursday. And then come home to a nice hot bowl of soup. See, you got ice. It's cold enough for it. There's a puddle. And there's a puddle in the parking lot right in the lot next to right next to where I parked my car. And uh, I almost fell in it last night. I touched the edge of it. I was like, ooh, not good. Well, it's still 2.30 and I'm back to the car. So I'm going to call it that I made it on time. That was a 45-minute walk. 2.16 miles. That wasn't too bad. Now, see, the car's still saying it's 35. 32. Ugh. Definitely going that way though. 
the original way on the way back that was uh the wind was was brisk but i mean i don't i don't know i think the beard helps a lot i did take a quarter inch off of it i don't know if i mentioned that earlier this morning but i did trim it when i got up coughing i'm like well it is the first I cannot believe it is december 1st it is just where has 2024 gone we couldn't get rid of 2020 any fast enough, and now we're 2024 is almost done. We're almost to 2025. Really wish Williamsport, because when I'm going through the videos yesterday to make the playlist for the adventure one, I really wish they'd do the ball drop again. That was neat. And I'd have that night off, so I'd be able to come down and see it. Oh, yeah, because the night, the last time they did it, she went to work. I went and met Shane for the very first time. He was drunk off his ass. And him and I came down here to find out it was canceled because it was too cold. I'm like, what? You think they canceled New York City because of temperature? No. Never. I think there could be a blizzard on New Year's Eve and New York City would not cancel that. Alrighty. That took us all of about seven minutes to get here, maybe. <laughs> Quick drive. Oh, green light. Alrighty. Yeah, I've taken you guys to this store before. Didn't work from me. Well, I think I've been in this store maybe once since I've been working for all these. It's a little, it's a little I don't know how you want to say, I don't want to say scary, but it's just like you just, you know, it's not your people, it's not your store. So there's a little weirdness to it, but we'll get through it. And hopefully Terry's not too mad at me. She'll understand because she's been staying late to get extra money, working extra shifts. Uh -huh. We've got to do things we don't want to do sometimes. And I feel like I'm really crooked. All right, that should be good. Last time I saw um, Mike and Nancy was here when I was having problems with my car. And at 8.23, the day was finally over. Yay! <laughs> now, the car's still selling 33. I don't know. That might not be too accurate. All right. Well, the easy, nice part about getting out of here is kind of, well, home's a lot quicker, obviously, being only three miles. Uh, I'm going to say it's, let's see, Walmart's 13. So this is probably 9, maybe 10. 22 even on fuel so we'll see what it is when we get home but i feel bad because the puppies haven't even made the vlog today and, and the vlog still needs to exported and uploaded yet from yesterday so i hope his car starts <laughs> all righty man i feel like i uh I don't know. That store is I don't know if it's bigger than us or not. It's definitely laid out an old way. Um it was a little a little different, but the same token, same procedures and stuff. The only thing that kind of got under my skin just a little bit and it really didn't at first until it dawned on me. So I come down to help due to a call off. And the store manager basically 15 minutes, after, you know, well, no, okay, say 30 minutes because she let me punch in at 246 or punch me in at 246. Um, oh, crap, I never tried to punch out. Oh, crap. I'll let her know that. I forgot to even go to the time thing because I'm not used to the whole break room. Oops. She bailed. I mean, she just basically, are you okay if I go home? I, I suppose. <laughs> But anyway, it was fine. We just, you know, we made through. But their curbside runs two hours longer than ours. It's it's crazy. I don't know what time they have to have everything picked up by, but they can order up to 7 o'clock at night. I really hope they don't ever do that to us. They better give us three people if they're going to do that because you're never going to stay on task to get everything done. So, oh, But anyway, well, I got to work in another store. I survived. Now it's time to head home. We'll see puppies before we go to bed. Alright, well we're at 8.3, so probably like 8.6 miles maybe. Yeah, it's not too bad. Really not bad. 
8.35. You can see what time was when we started rolling out. Because instead of putting the camera up, I put the camera down. It worked out. And I, yeah, so on this zipper, if I pull it like away from me as I'm bringing it up, it catches a little bit, but goes all the way up. So that's the trick to it, at least I think. <laughs> it worked when I left there. Only problem is I'm gonna text the store manager and let her know I completely forgot to even punch out. All right, we is home. That was a long freaking day, but worth it. All right, well, there's puppy one. Priya's not getting a walk, but I'll film her before we're done. I gotta get the other video freaking exported. Actually, it, it should be exported. I just gotta upload it. Hopefully it doesn't take forever tonight. Yeah, I think it's because I have it on double pass to try to make the quality better is why it's taking longer, but <coughs> hopefully I can sleep tonight without being up all night coughing. And then I can get up 3.40 in the morning, edit the video, get it exported and uploading before I leave for work. Maybe even released. <laughs> Finding a spot, bud? Spin in circles. All right, well, Princess literally walked down the steps and put her nose to the door and goes, I want to go outside and go pee. Which is kind of impressive for her. But anyway, that, now, all the doggies have made it into the video. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can we do this quick because I didn't put a jacket on and it's freezing out here Priya. I didn't bring you out here to sniff. I brought you out here to go pee. <clears throat> anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the morning as always. Have a good night. Stay safe. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, thumb up, and comment. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night.